The Riti is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the d5 and e4 squares. G3 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2, where it will control the center from the long diagonal. G6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will attack the center from the long diagonal. Bg2 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. D4 takes space in the center and controls the e5 and c5 squares. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. Master Games It is the last book move. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. White had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is an inaccuracy. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This stops the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. Very precise. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a mistake. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures, from a previous move. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This is the way to win a pawn. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to recapture a piece. It is a mistake. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures, from a previous move. It is best. This reveals an attack on a pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This allows the opponent to pin a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to win a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That leaves a pawn vulnerable to being captured. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a blunder. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This move puts the pawn on a safer square. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This threatens to win a queen. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. A very strong play. It is excellent. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. It is a mistake. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. The game is still close to equal, 
but black lost their advantage. It is a mistake. This misses a great but hard to find move. This threatens to play checkmate. There was only one good move in that position. It is a blunder. That was a truly amazing move. This took advantage of a mistake and black now has a winning advantage. It is brilliant.